Good morning. Uh, how are you all doing? Jared O'Neill here, uh, Will Castle Dagrian. So, I'm on this job that I've been on now the past few weeks. Um, as you know, I've been doing a lot of hand painted furniture, this three story hall stairs and on, a few bedrooms, kitchen. And uh, so, I haven't got a big amount left, but uh, the customer has asked me uh, about five years ago, she got an uh, uh, oak stairs. Well, basically, it was just old. It was just the original stairs, and she got a, a carpenter in to fit oak wood around the stairs. So basically, the stair itself. Um, if I just show you here, this part here um, is solid oak. Okay, this part here <coughs> is just like a, a piece of plywood that he's put on. And the joiner himself, um, what do you call it, uh, varnished it. I don't, know if, I don't know what he's done, it was about five years ago. But what I do know is, and I'm not being critical because he's done a fantastic job on the wood. I actually know him, he's a very good joiner. But <coughs> this wood here that he, <coughs> he had to put in below, in here, um, <coughs> excuse me, is uh, it's a plywood. He must have put an oak stain on. But what he didn't do was, he didn't use a proper hardware and varnish. And also between coats, the wood was quite rough. He didn't sand it down, and uh, it is it's a it's not a great job to be honest with you. So what I've done is I've cleaned it all down and I've given it all a good sand. So what I'm doing is I'm re coating it with an oak stain and uh, an oil based oak stain and uh, of course I do what I normally do, I added my ultra oil to it which does help it and um, then what I'm going to do is I've got a, a saddling hard burnt varnish, I'm going to use a saddling, uh, sometimes I would use diamond coat, a diamond coat's expensive, they're on seat one, it, it's you know only need a litre for this here and that's about 60 pound or so for a two and a half but Saddling have a, a, a real quality uh, varnish that you can use on tables and floors and stuff, you know, and I have used it before and it is hard wire. So well, whenever I finish this, as you can see, I've already brought the oak stain down the stairs here. With the oil in it, it's given it a nice sheen already. And, uh, you know, as I say, so what I had to do is I had to clean it all down, give it a real good sand. And you, you can see the finish there. If I just drop the camera down, you can see the difference. So I haven't done this one here, okay? But I've done these ones up here. So if you look there, you can see the difference uh, with the oak stain on it. So that, it's already bringing it up, you know. So I'll do a couple of these wee uh, panels here, you know. So what I'm using is, I'm just using a wee ankle party brush here. I've got my wee cattle. I've got the, the oak stain uh, mixed with the oil. And uh, so as you can see, you know, it's all, it really is bringing it up well. So. Whenever I do this here, I let it dry overnight. And uh, tomorrow I'll give it all a wee light sand and give a coat of uh, a good hard burn varnished satin. And uh, if it needs a third coat, I'll give it a third coat. But I'll see what it's like. But here we go. I'll just do this here for you. All right. And you, can, you can't see the difference as soon as you're putting it on there, you know. But really important, as I say, seat wood, you know, especially new wood, <clears throat> basically what happens with new wood is when you put the first coat on, uh, the hair in the wood does come out, you know, if you feed brand new wood, it is smooth, but see as soon as you put your first coat of stain or varnish on it, see, to, see the next day, it feels very rough, and that's where you have to give it a good sand down, you know. Normally new wood, to get a nice smooth finish, you need at least three coats on it. To give it that uh, smooth finish you know and as I say just bring that across or lay it off very lightly like so and as you can see the, the difference there uh, you know, so it does make a base even whenever you use the right materials and you know what you're doing you can uh, bring old wood up very very nice you know just get it in the alley corner there as I say, these walls are all finished, the strings down the stairs are all finished, so I'll have to cut that in and be neat and tidy with it, you know. 
your customer asked me to do this for her, so it just finishes the job off. All, all these acts, wee small extras, you know, do make a big difference in the job, you know. There's no point, you know, having everything all nicely painted and the stars. <coughs> this way did look very patchy, you know. There's no point um, leaving it. This really is finishing it off, as you can see. And again, when you're using a stain, you know, make sure it's all you put a nice even finish on, you know, because it's very, very easy to have, you know, it looking a bit thick in areas. If you're putting it on, you know, you have to have that nice even finish there, you know, as you can see. Um, but we're staying, as I say, you know, just put an even coat on, have a look at it, lay it off, make sure it's a, a nice even finish, you know. So I'll do this one here as well for you. And, uh, Let's bring my wee camera over here. There we go. Again, just bring it across the top there. Cut it in nice and neat against the string there, against the weight. Nice sharp edge there. There we go. And just cut in. As I say, I can't touch the the top of the store here because it's a it's a pre-finished oak uh it's solid oak as i say it's they aren't the joint of uh an oak star here really what i think he should have done with this here you really should have put on a, a piece of solid oak there as well but he didn't he chose not to he put plywood on and tried to match it in anyway it's coming up okay I mean, I always say, you know, uh, people say, you know, the, this joiner, he done the staining on it and stuff like that there. And it's just another example of someone who thinks, fantastic joiner, but thinks you can, you can paint. And he done a very bad job on the staining and varnishing here, you know. There you go, you just lay it off nice and light. Like so. So as you can see, I'll just um <coughs> I've just a couple more to do here. There's your bottom one there. So you can see a difference already there. You know, there's me making a big difference. And those wee finishing touches, you know, when you're doing a whole a whole uh, job, you know, ceiling walls, we work to have that wood looking quite dry and discoloured, you know, as you can see the difference it makes, you know. And uh, so all I needed was a, a good sand down, clean down, a good sand down, good quality oak stain, a wee drop of oil on it, and tomorrow I'll let that fully dry and put on a good hardware and quality varnish. And that should keep it uh, protected and looking well for a few years. Uh, so these stars to do here, it says it's a three story and I have a set of stars above to do uh, as well. It shouldn't take me too long. I've one, two, three more of these wee sections to do. I'll then go up and do the upstairs one. And then I have uh, uh, previous videos I've done, a uh, hand, hand painted mirror and bed. So I've got the bed primed and first coat of white satin. So if they put, give it a light sand, put a finished coat on the bed today. And uh, um, the room upstairs, uh, the last room, it's up in the, the attic. Uh, the colour is sky, skylight, fire and ball skylight. It's a lovely shade of blue, all the woodwork's white. And uh, I have a feature wall, we fire and ball paper. So I've had to finish, so I'm hoping to get finished by tomorrow. All done with
but uh, anyway, hopefully this video will help you, you know, on uh, any wood staining or varnishing. Uh, again, if you have any questions, by all means, send me a message if I can help you out in any way. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.